Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So I put it out to you guys and asked questions to me and I picked my favorite questions out of the ones that I got to answer here because I thought it would be a really good way to sort of get to know each other. And some of you had some really good questions. So we're going to go through those because that's what I felt like doing this time. So first question is what is your favorite book to read? And that's tough because I read a lot of stuff and I really like a lot of different things. But I think the two, the two I go back to on a regular basis and I think I've read more than anything else is definitely the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series by Douglas Adams. That series is amazing. I love that series so much. Um, I think I've read that thing cover to cover, book by book, at least two dozen times. I've handed out this hardcover copy that I had. That's traveling the world all on its own ventures. Um, I've read through so many copies of that book. I really do love that book. And I'll link the thing in the thing below so you can buy it somewhere. But it's great if you haven't read it. It's a great sci-fi series and I really like that. I enjoy the genre. I've never really been a big fan person to any of it. But I really enjoy sci-fi as a as a whole concept and I, I think he did a really good job with it and it was really funny. So if you haven't read it, do yourself a favor, seriously, pick it up. The other one that I read a lot, and this was recommended to me by James, which was a great recommendation, um, was Good Omens and that's by Neil Gaiman and uh, the late great Terry Pratchett. And it's a great series, book, it's just this great story and if you haven't read it, you really should. Because it's about the whole good and evil thing and the four horsemen and all of that good stuff. And it's amazingly written. I really enjoyed it and I think you will too. And I think I've read that thing again cover to cover a number of times. Really great story. Uh, next question. What did you want to be when you were small? Well, <laughs> I didn't really understand that certain positions needed you to be a certain thing to do them. So I remember talking to my parents at one point and telling them I wanted to be president of the United States um, and then getting very upset when they told me I couldn't because I was Canadian and I'm a girl. And so I got annoyed by that so I went off and thought about it. And then I came back and I told them I wanted to be the Pope and was then discouraged again to find out that I can't be the Pope because I'm Canadian and I'm a girl and not Catholic. So that's a problem. Um, so then I, I don't know, I just couldn't figure it out. So I guess I would just write and I would draw and I would figure it out from there. And I guess that's kind of still what I do because I do those things for fun and then I have my job at the stand to sort of pay for my fun. And I don't know, I think I'm, I've got to figure that out, I guess, now that I'm a bigger person, exactly what I want to do. I don't know if this job I'm doing now is what I want to do or if I want to do something different, but. I kind of get stuck at that drawing and, and figuring it out later stage, and I think I need to put some effort into that one. Uh, do you like surprises? <laughs> sort of, it'd be the answer. I like I surprises, I do, but I have no patience. So if you tell me there's a surprise coming like in four days, I will go insane. I hate it. I can't stand it. But if I walk into a surprise, that's amazing! I, just, I have no patience whatsoever. I can't do it. It'll drive myself insane. I'll have to figure it out. Um, so it has to be a really good surprise because if I know it's coming, I'm like, I gotta know. Drives me nuts. What is your favorite movie? Hmm. I have a lot of favorite movies, and I really thought about this one. The one I'm really liking right now, and I rewatched it recently because it was just amazing. Um, if for no other reason than to see a movie before CGI and to really get a scope of what was needed to do that. I rewatched uh, Cleopatra with Liz Taylor in it and it is amazing. To think that they actually did something on that scale and they had to build at that scale and that's not CGI and all them people and that's real people and it really does give the movie an extra level of something because I don't know I get tired of seeing CGI all the time. It's stupid. It's not really there. And I mean, a lot of it's just a dude on a green screen. And who the fuck wants to see that for two hours? <sighs> I get it. You can't do a lot of the things you need to for, especially sci-fi and shit like that. We can't go to space and make a movie in space yet. But 
I don't know, there's something real rich about seeing Cleopatra and seeing the grand scope that that had to go through to become a movie. So, lately that's my favorite, but I have a lot, and it really depends on my mood as to what my favorite is at any given time. Do you collect anything? <sighs> yeah, a lot of stuff. I collect a lot of geek memorabilia and stuff like that, like I've got a lot of vinyl pop figures and stuff like that. I collect comic books, um, mostly DC and honestly mostly Gotham and Arkham because I'm really into Batman but mostly I'm into it for the villains because I think they've got a great story writing on that. Um, I think they've done some amazing things with the Batman series over the years. I've got the two that I love the most in my series are probably the one that Kevin Smith and Walt Flanagan did. And with those ones I actually paid extra from their website to get like a doodle inside the cover with Walt and it was amazing the day that came. It was like fucking Greek geek Christmas. It was amazing. I was so happy. And I still swear to this day, like if Kevin Smith comes back to my town, I'm gonna see if I can get that signed by him too and that'd be really cool. So far not as lucky as I'd like on that, but eh no time. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's see, what else we got here? Uh, <laughs> Star Wars or Star Trek? <sighs> On both. I like sci-fi, and I like Star Wars. The, the original three movies were great. The prequels three are... Not, I'm not, not even going to get into it. I didn't like them. That's what I'm going to say about it. I didn't like them. That's the end of it. Um, but I'm cautiously optimistic to see what happens with the new one. I will definitely go see it because I do enjoy them. But I'm not like a fanatic about it. I'm like, oh my god, Star Wars. Blah. I can't go into great detail about it. I like them because they're space movies. And they're fun. Um, I really didn't like the three prequels. So. And Star Trek, I watched sporadically over the years. Like, Kirk, I watched some of that, but it was usually on like some old show, TV show channel that was showing, like, reruns of shit. It was alright, but I didn't really get into it much. The um, Picard one, I watched a bit. Again, not enough to actually know the names of any of these. I really like the Janeway one. Um, <laughs> like, this is as much as I can remember. Wesley Crusher was on one. I liked that one. That was good. Um, I'm probably still only describing two different ones. But, you know, I liked them enough to watch them for a long period of time, just clearly not enough to be fanatical about it and be, like, 20 years later going, Oh my god, this one series that this one thing happened in, you'll never understand life if you haven't seen it. I, I, they were good. I liked it. It was TV. <laughs> so Star Trek versus Star Wars, they're both kind of the same to me. I like sci-fi. They were good. Meh. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained one ability or quality, what would it be? That was a good question. Um, I want to have, like, the Babel fish thing. I want to have the ability to understand every fucking language, no matter where the fuck it is, and be fluent in all of it, like, so that I could understand everything around me. That would be great. I think that would be a really fun thing, because it would be useful, and... You know, for the job that I do, for nothing else would be fun. Um, but it would be cool, I think, to know sort of what everybody's saying instead of having stuff be, you know, for lack of a better word, gibberish because I don't understand it. It's not saying that people's other languages are not actual languages and they're just gibberish. I don't understand it. It sounds like gibberish to me. <sighs> I'm going to get messaged. <laughs> Um, oh, and this was a good one, so this is what I'm going to end on, because this was really good. Um, <laughs> this is going to sound so nihilistic, it's awful. Uh, what single message would you send to advanced alien species? <laughs> I decided that the message should read as such. Turn back and save yourselves. We're doomed. We did it to ourselves. Run. Dot. <laughs> We're fucked. Like, they can't help us tonight now. Unless they can turn back time, we have fucked up the planet. And if the history books are anything to tell us, this planet's gonna get its rights. <laughs> there's gonna be a flood, there's gonna be volcanoes. It's fucked. We fucked it up. And we're too late to really help with the fucking ecosystem. We could, you know, delay it, but we fucked it up. So I would really give them a warning. <laughs> 
And I know that sounds like a really negative thing to lay on the down row, but I really do think that, you know, we need to start doing something about the environment, to be honest. If for no other reason to try and delay the inevitable, because, you know, a lot of scientists are saying we're too late to stop it, but let's stop making it faster, man. Like, fuck, seriously. <laughs> All right, help the earth. That's what we're saying here. So we did <laughs> ten questions or nine questions. I don't know. We did questions. It was fun. So if you have questions or you have like a topic of things you would like me to find questions on and answer for you, pop it in the comments in the box below. We have our Wantables jewelry box coming soon. Um, I got message that it is shipping, so that is fantastic. We'll have that soon. If you hit the subscribe button there, you'll be able to see when that gets popped up as well. Um, and we have a new opinion piece coming out soon as well with an undisclosed topic. We were going to do the TPP, but in all honesty, that's really complicated. And I don't want to be part of the thing that makes the misinformation. So... I'm going to leave that to much stronger people than myself. I might do a video where I link to people who've done videos that are much better than myself. Um, but that is honestly too big and too complicated for somebody to just stick around with. So if you're interested, and I really think you should, you should look up the TPP. Some people out there have, with far more understanding than that than me have covered it and are doing great. Um, but I, I'm going to pick another topic for an opinion piece because I don't understand the TPP enough to get it. So, to be honest with you people, I would rather not give you misinformation. So, stay tuned for the new opinion piece. That'll be out soon. And for now, that's it. See you soon, guys. Bye!